Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with a wishlist page. And in this one, we'll be creating a simple view to list out all the wishes that we've got in our wishlist page. And we're going to be looping through all of them in a template. Do make sure to drop a like on this video and consider subscribing as it really helps me grow. And also you want to get the templates to follow along with the tutorial. Do make sure to check out the link in the description below. You should point it to the right direction to get a template. So let's go ahead and get started. Now you should take a close look at this. It should help you out with this. I could easily go ahead and copy this code and paste it but i don't like copying and pasting codes i like typing it out so you guys will see how everything started and ended so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come over here and i'm gonna say define and for now what i'm gonna do is i'm simply gonna come over here and um just give me a sec so i want to grab that now i'm gonna say define wish list then view and i'm gonna pass in requests requests and in here we need to go ahead and loop through all the wishes that we've got in our in our wish list for now we don't have any but we're going to be creating some later so let's go ahead and loop through this now i'm going to use a try catch and what i'm going to do is firstly i want to use that to be logged in before they can actually do this and i'm going to say try then try what we're going to get the wish list i'm going to say wish list should be equal to wish list and um we could use um wish list not the wish list admin but but this wish list over here this one okay i think it's named the same thing with our model yeah this is it um, that's great so i'm just gonna say wish list which is this one over here dot object dot let's just say the all and see if we get any error okay there is a problem okay with a try catch there is a problem so we need to go ahead and end this except off except i'm gonna say wish list should be equal to none for now okay now we need to go ahead and pass in a context so i'm gonna say um context should be equal to then i'm just gonna say a w should be there then i'm gonna pass in the wish list that we should return a template i'm gonna say return render that's supposed to be render and I'm going to pass in requests and over here, which we, we could just pass in call, then wish list the HTML, then simply pass in the context in there. Now let's create a URL for this. So I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to say wish list page, wish list page. There's going to be a path and it should simply go over to wish list slash and this should be wish list view so wish list view and the name should be equal to what wish list now i've been saying a whole lot of wish list in those videos kind of sound it's starting to sound weird so now we have all this let's go ahead and create a template to the name wish list html so i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to call it wish list.html so with all this now let's try hopping over to slash wish list this one over here now what do you notice okay okay that's not what we're supposed to pass in in the template this is supposed to be call slash there was a mix up somewhere now when we refresh this we have this empty template pretty looking great so um what i'm gonna do is this i'm simply gonna go ahead and override this template now in order to do that remember we are working with this e-commerce front end template over here i'm gonna look for the wish list that's the one we, that we've got down here i'm gonna copy every single thing that we got over there and we should just paste it in this wish list now so if you refresh, it's going to be looking really ugly. And that's because we need to go ahead and clean it out. Copy that at the top. Look for the header. Simply minimize this and this from the header end. Replace it with what you copied. Copy this. Close up the main. Close out the footer. And all the way to the bottom. Paste this. Then we should go ahead and end block. So now when we've done this, let's try refreshing this to see how everything looks. Looking pretty great, right? So now we need to go ahead and loop through all these products over here and show it out in the in the template and also work with the AutoCAD button and we should be done with this video. So over here for the TR, I'm going to close up all the TR. There, there should be multiple TRs from here. So I'm going to close up all this and I want to remove all that and stick with only one. Now I should start writing the for loop. So I'm going to say end for firstly and um, 
for w in wish list so i'm going to get back here as you can see what i called it is w so what i'm going to say is for w in w rather so for w in w now if you come over here and refresh do you think there's going to be anything as you can see there's nothing so if there is nothing let's actually simply say no wish list yet i'm going to say tr cd p nothing in wish list yet so we should refresh this okay what do you notice it says nothing in wish list yes that's pretty cool so how about we we simply head back to the to to our admin and we want to add something dynamically to the wish list there is something over here why did you say there's nothing in the in the wish list that doesn't make any sense so for w in w i think there is a problem over here wish list dot objects dot get so you try this else it says we it says none hmm you know what i'm gonna remove the except for now let's just try with the with the normal wish list thing and hopefully it doesn't throw any error now so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna get back here refresh to confirm that we have two wish lists let me close up all this close this up and let's refresh okay so it says local variable wish list reference before assignment what is the problem okay i think this is it over here now there is a, just a very simple problem and that's because this wish list could we change this to an uppercase w or could we say something like wish list model yeah so just pass in wish list model and in the admin i'm gonna play around with this i'm gonna say wish list model should be what we want over there now instead of wish list i'm gonna import wish list model okay so um i think that should be it guys now in the views we need to go ahead and import that all the way at the top so instead of just wish list it should be wish list model now down here instead of wish list object again it should be wish list model dot objects dot all so now if we refresh this we should have um cannot import name wish list from color models in models dot um cannot import name wish list from code models so there is a problem let's see where is this error coming from? okay it's coming from the context processor i see so from this context processor we need to change this to wish list model so with this now i think everything should run perfectly well let's refresh this okay it says no such table called that now for that we simply need to go ahead and say python manage.py make migrations and we also need to go ahead and say yeah i changed the name and we also need to go and say python manage.py migrate and this is what we got so we need to go ahead and run the server so we run the server and we refresh this now now we should see one thing pretty cool that's what we have in our wish list so now we should go ahead and change up all this product name title image i'm gonna start off with the image because that's why not that's what they gave me over here so i'm gonna say wish or rather w.image.url because they uses w we use w in the context so now when we refresh this why isn't the image showing up that's pretty weird so for w in w then we say w.image.url okay we need to get rid of this mm. uh, let's see how about we just come over here and we say we want to we want to um could that be the problem i think that's an uppercase w instead of a lowercase one so over here actually that was a lowercase one so there is a problem now i said for w in w how about i just paste in w over here to see what w contains okay so you can see it contains fresh pair okay So there is a little problem over here now. This fresh pair thing. Oh, 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 I got it. So it's supposed to be w.product.image.url because it's nested. So over here, I'm going to refresh this. What do you notice? We got the image as simple as that. So also for the for the title, we need to go ahead and change up the title. So this should be, this should be w dot product dot title then i want to simply truncate the charts and i'm going to say truncate it to the first 30 letters 
and let's add in a URL over here. So I'm going to say URL call, then I call this products dash detail, and this is going to be w dot products dot pid. Let's refresh and hopefully there is no problem. Okay, there is a problem. Truncates chars and not charts. Okay, so truncates chars. Now let's refresh this one more time. That's working perfectly well. So we should also go ahead and change off the price after I've removed this over here. So we're going to check if it's in stock, then show this. So if w dot products dot so if w dot products dot in stock, then we want to show this, but instead, uh, else out of stock there is a problem okay this is supposed to be an end if one more problem if w the products dot in stock okay this is the problem so let's get rid of this else that let's refresh okay as you can see this process is still in stock that's why it keeps showing the in stock thing how about the auto cut how do we do that so the price did we change the price no we didn't so um to change the price i'm gonna leave this one over here just like that i'm gonna create a new h3 and i'm gonna say um w dot product dot price now let's refresh this okay that's how it's looking pretty weird now what we could do is just go ahead and give this a class of d dash flex let's refresh okay on the same line again and we need to give this one a class of text dash brand so it's gonna turn green again so that's great but there is a problem there is definitely a problem so as you can see this doesn't look great at all so um, I think that should be from the deflex thing. That's the problem. How about we change this hate all H3 to span? Hold this, this, and this, and I'm gonna change it to span. I think that should be more better. So as you can see, that this this is how it looks. Now over here, we could we could just go ahead and say fs dash one. That is font size should be one. This is okay. <clears throat> okay, so um, I think this is pretty much everything that we need. Now let's go ahead and add to cut, then we're going to be done with this video. So in order to add to cut, I'm simply going to open up my index page and this is the hidden thing. I'm going to copy this and over here, this is the, this is the add to cut button. So I'm just going to paste this over there, down there. And I want you guys to pay close attention to everything that's going on or you're going to miss it. Okay. So over here, firstly, we need a class with add to cut BTN. So I'm going to copy that come over here to the wish list and for this class I'm gonna append another one in there I to cut btn in the index we also need this data index thing I'm gonna copy that and um, in wish list I'm also gonna paste that and finally we also need this price thing over here so I'm gonna copy this price class and in the wish list for this price where is the price this one over here i'm simply gonna paste it so current price now instead of p dot id what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna put my cursor at the front of all the p's so before i start doing that i want to make sure that um okay yeah so what i could just do is grab the w dash products dot Right, I'm gonna grab that and I, I want to put my cursor at the front of all the P's. So at the front of all the P's, I'm gonna put my cursor over there. P, put my cursor. So hopefully you guys understand what's going on. Just keep putting your cursor at the end of all, at the front of all the P, not in between. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. I think I missed something. Let's paste this and see. Okay. So let's try out with this one. So w the product image the URL. Now it's remaining a couple of piece over here. I'm gonna pull all this again. Get rid of that. 
w.product.id now finally this one w.product.id so guys that's it now in order to see if all this is working i'm just going to change all these hidden classes to text and let's refresh okay yeah it's working as you can see one this 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 that's pretty great so let's change all this back to hidden and we're going to refresh and instead we should even give this a hard refresh okay so right now we got three things in our in our cards how about we try clean our card out so i'm going to open up my cards and i'm going to clear out uh oh what's that i'm going to clear out all this 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 what's the problem clear this out okay i think i didn't actually add the the button to the to the new list i'm going to do that later so now we have nothing in our cards i'm simply gonna head back to the to the wish list so over here in the wish in the wish list this is it over here right i'm gonna go ahead and add this to cards let's see okay guys what do you notice it's added one thing to the cart and this button actually changed and if we come over to the cart we should see fresh pay so that's it it's working perfectly well so now we can add things to the wish list and it shows up in the cards whenever we hit add to cards. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and start working with the add to wish list button because that's what we actually need, right? And um, if I open this up right now, this is what we're going to be working on. If we hit in, uh, on this button over here, then we're going to be able to, to, see the, to see the products being added to the wish list. So yeah, that's it for this video. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me.